everyone, it's Carly and welcome here back to my channel. Welcome to another Wellness Wednesday. I thought today it'd be fun to kind of break away from the kitchen and the traditional way of thinking of wellness and health with like food and stuff um, and come into my messy closet and do something that's healthy for my mind and that is kind of clearing the space, cleaning things out and decluttering my closet. So I like to do this a couple of times a year. Um, I'm not like the best at it in the sense that like I used to do it too much that I would give away too much and get so excited to get new things that like I would give away everything and not have enough clothes. So we're not going to do that today. We're going to be very sensible about what we throw out because I can get a little happy with that and then it's just like I have no clothes. Um, so then I end up buying more. But I do believe that before you can like bring new things into your closet and into your wardrobe, it's nice to give things away and donate or sell. Um, secondhand shop is something that I'm super passionate about, so it's fun to be able to donate to those stores that I shop at. Um, it just kind of completes the circle. So I hope that you guys enjoy this. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you do enjoy the video, and let's get started. Now, I'm genuinely not too worried about this space. All of this is like smash and stuff, so of course I'm not gonna worry about that. And then on the bottom is just like all of my tops. The one space that I am nervous about is my dresser, which we'll get to after. Um, but I just kind of wanna go through and tidy um, my shirts and everything and just make sure that everything's in its place and that if I do find something that I'm not enjoying or not wearing, I'm gonna take it out. So I'm gonna start here in this area. A lot of my like jackets and outerwear, a lot of that is in my beauty room, so I don't really have to worry about that. Um, but these are just like dresses and then some jackets um, but yeah I definitely need to look through this and get rid of some stuff started in the closet and this was such a huge project for me but I'm so happy that I've done it and let me know what you guys are doing when you watch this video are you decluttering is this inspiring you or are you just laying down and watching me because sometimes I really like to do both I love to watch people declutter but I also love to have this on in the background to help inspire and motivate me to do the same and clean out a space that really really needs it This space is also another huge pain point because I always try to keep things color coded and looking great. I also really love to like steal all of our velvet hangers from Sebastian and put them with my clothes uh, because I feel like it just makes everything look so much better when they have the same hanger and there's not like that cute lime green one popping out anywhere. Um, but yeah, I try my best to keep things in their place and color coded, but that doesn't always happen as you can see so it just feels good to kind of go through even if you're not donating anything um, it just feels good to go through and just like re it up and organize it a little bit better and just put everything back into its place and with its color family it just makes me feel so happy My closet organization will also change within the seasons as well. 
right now since it's cold where I live I have a lot of like turtlenecks and sweaters and jackets kind of top of mind and like right in front of me um, and then like my short sleeves and tank tops of course are pushed uh, more to the back and so in the summer this will like change up because I'm using my short sleeves and tank tops a lot more um, so that's like a great tip that I have um, it's kind of fun to just like reorganize everything push some things out um, especially depending on the season it just helps kind of make you more excited about the clothes that you have and the clothes that you haven't seen for a while and when it gets warmer you can push that more to the center and it just feels more exciting and like you have a bit more options than you did um, during the winter time. I'm also still trying to get over my horrible habit of not turning things inside out or like correctly as you can see with this turtleneck is just an example most of my things are already like right side out um but yeah i just need to get it on there and get it on the hanger and i don't really like to fuss about which way it's facing or if it's inside out so for anybody that's like cringing at that fact about me i'm really sorry i'm trying maybe 2021 <laughs> and this is where I keep any of my dress pants or like non-jean type of pant on that first cubby and then moving down um, the next little box is just full of all my beanies and hats I have a couple scarves um, but I ended up getting rid of most of them because I don't really wear them a ton uh, so it was time for those to go and then I have my workout stuff which this box looks a little bit empty I got rid of a ton of workout pants that were just too big didn't fit me or I just didn't like in general um, and then yeah a lot of this stuff was still in my dirty clothes so that's why I don't have a ton of workout things I don't really have like a huge stash but most of it was um, still in the washer and then the bottom one is just all my sweats which again I just got rid of some that were just like not flattering and didn't like excite me to walk around the house in so it was time to definitely let those go <laughs> Okay, this is what it's looking like. This is what it looks like down here, but <laughs> we'll get over that. Um, I do have a big pile, which I'm very pleased with. A lot of it is just like sweats that I don't wanna wear and workout stuff I don't wanna wear, all that stuff. But um, I don't know why I like to keep like my dress pants. These aren't even really dress pants, but like not jeans. I like to keep them in this little cubby. And then you guys saw these are like hats and beanies. Um, this stuff is like all my workout stuff but all my workout stuff is actually dirty so that's why it's like super empty but i don't even really wear this stuff a lot but it's good to have like like emergency stuff like that so that goes there and then on the bottom are just a couple pairs of sweats um i have an i have a few others um that are in the laundry as well but moving along all of my jackets dresses this is my bridesmaid's dress it's kind of hard to show you guys but it's very cute and then i have like all of these are like matching sets or like track suits, stuff like that, all of my Sherpa stuff, and then sweaters and long sleeves turtlenecks, and then just like tees, and then I don't really have a lot of tank tops, um, but I always get rid of those after every season, so um, yeah, I definitely need to like amp that up. So I'm pretty proud about that. Um, I'm gonna leave this stuff and clean it up once I'm done with the video, but now we're gonna move into my dresser drawers, which, are so bad i'm actually very scared to get started but this is why i'm doing this video it's because um, my dresser is outrageous and just needs a good clean out there's a lot of jeans in there um there's a lot of like pajamas and underwear and stuff that i'm not going to donate um i'm just going to throw away but i need to get rid of it so let's dive in to the horrible horrible mess you guys are about to see okay so these are what 
this is what is happening in my drawers and I'm actually so embarrassed <laughs> to show you guys this. This is like swimsuits, underwear. This is like a new thing of socks, which it's like, I just have it with the package. All of my socks, just like insane. I've never had it get so bad. So that is the top drawer, which is so awful. I can't even close it. I don't even, and I think I wear like the same five pairs of underwear. So I don't know what's my problem. This is my pajama drawer, which again, needs a little tug. And I don't even really wear pajamas. That's the thing. I like to wear like my Christmas ones, but that's pretty much it. So that needs to be figured out. And then down here are like jeans, which again, I think I wear like three. So I think I'm gonna start at the jeans cause this is like the less intimidating one. Um, and then we'll work our way up. This is me like contemplating if I'm going to get rid of these thrifted Calvin Kleins because I don't really wear them a ton, uh, but then I ended up keeping them. Some things you just have to keep just in case and they really do make me happy. They were like my introduction to thrifting and they made me so excited when I found them. So I definitely kept them, um, but yeah. I just don't really wear a ton of jeans and when I do, it's like the same four or five pairs. So I felt good about getting rid of a lot that I did. are still with me and still watching I just want to say thank you for decluttering with me and sticking with this video I know it was a long one but it was definitely necessary and filming it did keep me accountable um, so hopefully you guys are enjoying and don't forget to subscribe uh, so that you can see more of my videos So I ended up just like whizzing through my underwear drawer. I know that you guys probably get the point and I didn't need to show everything that I was like throwing away or looking at or checking out to make sure it's still good, but I'm happy to report that it looks much better. Okay, I'm actually so super proud of myself. I mean, it's hard to like organize your underwear and stuff unless you have like compartments. And then all my pajamas and like loungy clothes and my jeans so i feel really really good about it i now just have to like clean up all of the piles behind me and put everything away but i feel really good i'm so happy that i completed this project today because i was definitely dreading it but i feel a lot better i think i'll feel better once all of the piles are like gone and out of my head but um yeah hopefully this inspires you to like get into a space where maybe you could use a little bit more love and clean it out, organize it, donate whatever you can, sell some clothes for some money. And yeah, I'm excited to like treat myself, bring new pieces into my life with what I've sold. So I hope that you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, definitely give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe. If you're new, I would love to have you here on my channel and I will see you guys in my next one.
拜。